Yo, Wagwan, we're back with more My Hero Ultra Rumble for your head tops and today we've got the first balance patch update and new items in the store. We're going to quickly cover all the balance patches that has happened, all the changes and trust me, things have changed. All your tier lists are definitely going to change after this. Make sure to hit the like button, tap the notification bell and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action. Let's get into it. First up, we've got Froppy and her gamma quirk has now been nerfed. If you've been tired of Froppy running away from you, she has now been nerfed and her level 1 Gamma Quirk lasts for 6 seconds. Her level 4 Gamma Quirk now lasts for 16 seconds. And her level 9 Gamma Quirk lasts for 20 seconds. So now hopefully you'll be able to catch Froppy a bit more often when she's trying to be evasive. Next up we got that dog in him, Kirishima. Now this guy was already cracked beforehand. People just weren't using him correctly. And everyone said he was low on the tier list. But now he's been buffed. He is going to be even more insane. He has more ammo in the clip. So if you level him up to level level two he already gets three hits on his beta quirk which means more damage more impact and more hardening they've also increased his special action reload time and how long the hardening lasts for kirishima is about to be up in them tier list next up we got dabby and his alpha quirk has been upgraded for more damage so as you can see level one does 40 his level four does 58 damage and his level nine does 69 aha ha so for all the dabby mains out there dabby has been buffed he does more damage so he's gonna probably be a bit more viable now on to the other todoroki brother he has officially been nerfed. I know people are saying Shoto, Bakugo and Deku are the worst and they should be nerfed. Well, his level 1 does 52 damage now. His level 4 does 65 and his level 9 does 73 damage. Deku has also been nerfed. His level 1 alpha quirk does 57. His level 4 does 69 and his level 9 does 81 i'm not gonna lie though i think they forgot to nerf deku's crouching attack because it's still busted this crouching attack might make deku the best out of the next big three now that they've all been nerfed this is the one you've been waiting for bakugo has been nerfed his alpha quirk now does 57 damage at level one it does 69 damage at level four and it does 81 damage at level nine now that bakugo has actually been nerfed people are gonna start to see that it isn't bakugo that's the problem it's aim assist all right so this next one i'm I'm kind of scared of mount lady has been buffed she's got more ammo in the clip globku arcs for a buff for mount lady and guess what we got it so now she has even more maneuverability with her gamma quirk she can slide around do double the kicks and i can't lie her having that much maneuverability might be crazy next up we got shigaraki and he also can use his new gamma quirk upgrade for more maneuverability but even more scary so he can actually bypass your shield twice as much as before so now you've got to be very wary of shigaraki's command grab if he hits you with it once you need to get out the way because twice will kill you mr compress is now officially a top tier character i can't lie to you they've increased his ammo count and they've made his shield even more crazier now he gets seven marbles at level one he gets eight marbles at level four and he gets nine marbles at level nine as you can see he's got a lot more of a viable shield now and it lasts way longer and deflects more bullets mr compress is going to be cracked next up we got Ida, and he now has more bullets in the clip as well so Ida is going to continue to be annoying this is a buff for Ida, and uh, if you're an Ida main enjoy those recipio burns it's going to be coming very frequently the reload time is reduced so he gets off more kicks we've also got new login bonus items and special login bonus items as you can see we've got roll tickets crystals emotes and an all might skin we've also got new roll items in the shop we've got casual shoto casual Deku and also casual Bakugo. Personally, I think Bakugo's got the best outfit, non biased, obviously, even though Bakugo is my favorite character. And we also do have the pickup roll where you can get Ida and Kendo. But honestly, who's actually going to roll for these guys? You lot let me know in the comments because I definitely ain't. And then the last thing on the list, we've just got all the color costumes for the new casual style. So first, we're checking out Deku. Next up, we got Bakugo, and I think his red outfit is probably the best one. That one looks sick. And last up, we got Shoto. Now, Shoto's casual outfit looks cool. The all black is definitely certified. Those were all the new updates to My Hero Ultra Rumble. Make sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my video here showing you 10 things you didn't know about My Hero Ultra Rumble.